everybody. It's Mrs. DeCruz again. Today is Monday, March 30th. I hope everyone is doing well. I am doing well here. And uh, today the weather is a little cool and extremely cloudy. Uh, I don't know if anyone noticed last night, we got hail. Now hail is like, it's like little ice balls that fall from the sky and it was super loud. Um, it was raining and then it turned to hail, but it's all melted now. It came and it went and off we go. So anyways, I hope everyone is doing well and everyone had a nice weekend. Um, I'm doing well here, keeping busy with this and that and the other things. Um, so what we're going to do today is we are going to read a couple books and I have a book, uh, two books of poems. So first I'm going to read, I wish that I had duck feet. And this was written by Theo Lissig, illustrated by B. Toby. Now Theo Lissig, guess who that is? A lot of people may not know this, but that's actually Dr. Seuss. He went by a different name sometimes. He would use a different pen name. That's what that's called. So this is a really cute book. So I'm gonna start with this one. And then I'm going to read a book in Portuguese. Now, who is this red guy? Yes, it's Clifford, the big red dog. Now in Portuguese, they called him Pacheco. And so this book is a, a story about Clifford the Big Red Dog, but in Portuguese. And as many of you, many of you know, I speak Portuguese. And boys and girls have been learning um, words in our classroom, in Portuguese and in Spanish. So Pacheco, o cachorro gigante. So I'll read that to you. And then I have a, a couple poetry books. This is It's Raining Pigs and Noodles by Jack Perlitsky. My kids love the poems in this book. And this is another one. Something Big Has Been Here, also by Jack Perlitsky. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name properly, but these are the two poetry books. I have others, but I chose a couple of poems from here and I'll read them to you. All right, I wish that I had duck feet. Maybe you can see different shapes in there, in the clouds. What do you see? Point them out. I wish that I had duck feet. I wish that I had duck feet. And I can tell you why. You can splash around in duck feet. You don't have to keep them dry. I wish that I had duck feet. No more shoes, no shoes for me. The man down at the shoe store would not have my size, you see. If I had two duck feet, I could laugh at Big Bill Brown. I would say, you don't have duck feet. These are all there are in town. I think it would be very good to have them when I play. Only kids with duck feet on can even can ever play this way. But my mother would not like them. She would say, get off my floor. She would say, you take your duck feet and you take them out that door. Don't ever come in here again with duck feet on. Now don't. 
So I guess I can't have duck feet. I would like to, but I won't. So if I can't have duck feet, I'll have something else instead. Say, I know what, I wish I had two horns up on my head. I wish I had two deer horns, that would be a lot of fun. Then I could wear 10 hats up there. Big Bill can wear just one. I think they would be very good to have when I play ball. Then nobody could stop me. No, sir. Nobody at all. My horns could carry books and stuff like paper, pens, and strings and apples for my teacher, and a lot of other things. But if I had big deer horns, I would never get a ride. I could never ride in the school bus. I could never get inside. And so, I won't have deer horns. I'll have something else instead. I wish I had a whale spout, a whale spout on my head. When days get hot, it would be good to spout my spout in school. And then Miss Banks would say, thanks, thanks. You keep our school so cool. Hey, you know what I'm thinking? You could turn the school into a pool. Hmm. I could play all day in summer. I would never feel the heat. I would beat Big Bill at tennis. I would play him off his feet. But my mother would not like it. I, I know just what she would say. Not in the house. You shut that off. You take that spout away. I know that she would tell me I don't want that spout about. And when my mother does not want a thing, it is O-U-T. It's out. How's he feeling? Look at his face. Is he happy or sad? Yeah, he's sad. And so, I will not have one. I don't wish to be a whale. I think it would be better if I had a long, long tail. I wish I had a long, long tail. Someday I will, I hope. And then I'll show the kids in town new ways to jump a rope. If I had a long, long tail, I know what I would like. I would like to ride down State Street pulling girls behind my bike. Oh. I wish I had a long, long tail and I can tell you why. I could hit a, a fly 10 feet away and hit him in the eye. I know Miss Banks would like this. She would smile and she would say, no other boy in town can hit a fly so far away. Look at his face. 
How is he feeling in this picture? Happy, yeah. What else? Proud, yeah. Helpful, yeah, all those things. A smile says a lot of different things, doesn't it, boys and girls? But if I had a long, long tail, I know that Big Bill Brown would tie me in a tree. He would. Then how would I get down? I don't think that I would like it with my tail tied in a tree. The more I think about it, no, the no long, long tail for me. So if I can't have a tail, I'll have a long, long nose. A nose just like an elephant's, the longest nose that grows. I wish I had a long, long nose and I can tell you why. I think it would be very good to get things up high. Every kid in town would love it, every kid but Big Bill Brown, and every time I saw him, I would sneeze and blow him down. Ugh. We don't do that, boys and girls, do we? That spreads germs. Say, I could help the firemen. My nose would be just right. I could help them put out fires a hundred times at night. Oh, I would do a lot of things that no one ever did. And everyone in town would say, just watch that long nosed kid. But if I had a long, long nose, I know what dad would do. My dad would make me wash the car, the house, and windows too. Look at his face. How do you think he's feeling in this picture? Maybe tired. My dad would make me work all day and wash things with that hose. I guess it would not be so good to have a long, long nose. Now, let me think about it. All these things I want are bad. And so I wish, I wish, I wish, what do I wish I had? He's thinking, he's contemplating. I know what, I know just what, I know just what to do. I wish that I had all those things. I'd be a witch, what, who? If I could be a witch, watch, witch, what, who? A jump high in the air, I'd splash and spout and run about I'd give the town a scare. But the people would not like it. They would be so scared, I bet. They would catch, they would call the town policemen. They would catch me in a net. They would put me in the zoo house with my horns and nose and feet. And hey, just hey, two times a day is all I'd get to eat. That's not right. Hmm. I think I would be very sad when people came to call. So 
I don't think a which, what, who would be much fun at all. That is not right at all. Mm-mm. So, I think there are some things I do not wish to be, and that is why I think that I just wish to be like me. The end. Interesting, huh? So, Always be yourself because you are so special and so unique. There's no one else in the world that's like you. You are special and you are loved. Now, I had a question in here. I noticed that a lot of times he was worried and thinking about Big, Bob, Big Bill. Several times he was talking about that. I'm wondering if he was afraid of Big Bill. I don't know. Or maybe he wanted to be friends with him. Um, or maybe Big Bill wasn't nice to him. Hmm, see, quite a few times he talked about Big, Big Bill Brown. So I'm wondering, what would be a good thing for this boy to do if another person, another boy is bothering him. Or maybe he wants to be friends with him. Should he go up and talk to him? Or maybe tell the teacher that he wants to be friends? Because it looks like a lot of times there he's talking about Big Bill Brown and he's thinking about him for some reason. I'm not sure exactly why, but I hope they become friends and they're able to communicate with one another, right? It's important to always use our words. Absolutely. Use your words. All right. Now, the next book I'm going to read is this one. It's in Portuguese. Now, Portuguese is the first language that I spoke when I was a little kid. Um, so, English was is my second language and Portuguese is my first. Now, my Portuguese isn't perfect because I don't really have a lot of chance to speak it, um, but I'm gonna try my best and um, maybe you can learn some new words, all right? Pacheco, o cachorro gigante. Já vi muitos cachorros. Alguns até vermelhos como o meu, mas nenhum tão grande e tão vermelho como o meu. É um cachorro gigante. Seu nome é Pacheco. Nós dois somos muitos amigos, brincamos muito. Ele pega um pedaço de pau que eu jogo longe. Ensina isto a ele. Mas às vezes ele traz outras coisas. Brincamos de esconder. Eu ensino isto a ele. Sou muito esperta. Encontrou o Pacheco em qualquer lugar. Quando acampamos, não preciso de ba barraca. Mas Pacheco não é perfeito. Às vezes faz bobagem. Corre atrás dos automóveis e os pega. O Jardim Ge Geológica gosta de brincar com os leões.
com um fundo de sapato, com chicletes. E as flores como luzes. Não é fácil tomar conta, conta de Pacheco. Ele come e bebe muito. Tudo que chorro tem em casa, mas a do Pacheco é diferente. Os ladrões têm medo dele. Eu não tenho medo de nenhum moleque. É difícil dar banho no Pacheco. Pacheco é lindo. Vou prepará-lo para ganhar o concurso de cães. ganhou. Fingi que não, não ligava para ele não ficar triste. Nenhum destes cachorros pretos, brancos, amarelos e manchados me interessa. Podem ficar com eles. Pacheco é ou não é o maior? There we go. Now, did that sound different to you, boys and girls? Probably did. Now, I'm going to read this book again, but this time I'm going to translate it in English. Now, some of the words I actually don't understand. I don't know what they mean. So, um, I'm going to translate it as best I can. All right. I've seen many dogs. Some just as red as mine, but none as big as my big red dog. He's a giant dog. His name is Pacheco. We are good friends. We play a lot together. He grabs a stick that I throw long. I taught him that, but sometimes he brings back other things. I also taught him how to play hide and seek. I'm very smart. I find him every place he hides. When we go camping, we don't need a tent. But Pacheco is not perfect. Sometimes he messes up. He runs after cars and he catches them. At the zoo, he likes to play with the lions. He confuses shoes with gum and, and flowers with sweets. Hmm. It's not easy taking care of Pacheco. He eats and drinks a lot. Every doggy has a house, but, Ch but Pacheco's is a little different. Robbers are afraid of him. I don't, I don't get scared by anyone who tries to bother me. It's 
hard to give Pacheco a bath. He's really cute. I'm gonna get him ready for a dog show. He didn't win. I told him that he didn't need to be sad. None of these dogs, black, white, yellow, spotted, uh, interest me. People can keep them. Pacheco is not the biggest, right? There we go. So that is Clifford, the big red dog in Portuguese. Did you find that interesting? You know, you can always go back. And since I read it in English, when I read in Portuguese, you can think of the words in English or you can make up your own words too. You can always do that too. Cute, huh? A lot of stories are translated all over the world. So children from all over the world get to read um, similar stories. So I'm wondering, this is probably translated in many, many other languages. So it's pretty cool. All right. And now I have some really fun poems. Now this book is called Something Big Has Been Here. And these are poems by Jack Prolitsky. So I'm gonna read this one. All right, the this one is called Last Night I Dreamed of Chickens. Look at the picture. All right, now I'll read it. Last night I dreamed of chickens. They were chickens everywhere. They were standing on my stomach. They were nesting in my hair. They were pecking at my pillow. They were hopping on my head. They were ruffling up their feathers as they raced around my bed. They were on the chairs and tables. They were on the chandeliers. They were roosting in the corners. They were clucking in my ears. There were chickens, chickens, chickens for as far as I could see. When I woke up today, I noticed there were eggs on top of me. What? What do you think? Was that a dream or was it real? What do you think, boys and girls? Kind of funny, huh? All right. Super. And now I have a couple here. And this one is called It's Raining Pigs and Noodles. And this one is, these are poems also by Jack Prolitsky. And the name is of this poem is called, the title is A Foolish Cow. See that? A Foolish Cow. Cow declining greens, a jump, jumping in vanilla beans. Now when she quivers, now she quakes, now she gives vanilla shakes. <laughs> That's cute, huh? Super cute. And let me pick one more. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I've turned into a carrot. I've turned into a carrot, it's baffling and strange. Somehow while I was sleeping, I underwent a change. Last night I was human, with heads and hands and feet. This morning I'm a vegetable, I've rarely cared to eat. I look into the mirror and see I'm long and lean. I have an orange body, my hair is leafy green, and further complications compounds my, my current woe. A rabbit is approaching, so long, I've got to go. 
Cute, huh? Very silly. There are a lot of great poems here. I will read, I will read a couple a day. They're really pretty funny. Um, super. All right. So, boys and girls, um, it's time for me to say goodbye now. Um, and so, oh, maybe we should we should uh, sing that song that we sing every day at the end of school. Let's do that. I think I, I know a lot of you remember that song. And if you don't, you can listen and then you can learn a new song and then sing along. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. It's time to go home now, the end of the day. And I'll change that. It's time to end the video, the end of the video. I'll see you tomorrow, another fun day. It's time to end the video, the end of the video. All right, boys and girls, I'm sending you lug love, a big hug, and a high five through um, through this video. I hope you're well. Take care, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.